Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Kotats here, and welcome back to another live Team Taj reaction video. And today, we're going to be reacting to another GTA San Andreas video, and this is called Elsewhere by the same team I reacted to last time, Arrow Reapers. So, because the last video I did on this topic did extremely, extremely well, I think it got like 1,200 views, I decided to look on their channel again to see if they post anything new. But it turns out this isn't new. Like, this was posted about a month before I reacted to their previous Team Taj. This completely went under my radar. I didn't even realize they had released this. And apparently, this is a Team Taj called Elsewhere. It's about 9 minutes and 56 seconds long. So, it's a pretty long video. Expect this video to be, like, maybe 15 minutes long or so. So, and also, I'm probably going to release a stunt challenge later today. So, look forward to that. I'm sorry I didn't post any videos yesterday. The reason why is I was trying to record a video where I hit a turtle dick stunt and you guys know that turtle dick nomad you remember yeah he has the hardest stunts on the planet so that took me like four and a half hours to do and not to do four and a half hours of failing and I still didn't hit the stunt so I'm just like screw this and I'll probably try an easier stunt today not done by turtle dick because that's just like way above my level so yeah let's watch this video right now PM production, okay. So those are the editors, I guess. Presents. Oh, I like to smoke off to the left, that's cool. Okay. Ooh, nice text effect right there. I can already tell that this is a well-made video. Huh. Ah, this is gonna be cool, I think. Okay. Is this the opener? Whoa, dude! Th a grind in a 360 and then another grind? You see how cleanly he landed on the second reel, too? Ooh, nice stun, too. And then he goes backwards and then goes, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm not reading the names off. It's just hard to read because of the text. So I think that says Ali and Hoy. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. So Pro Magic, I can read that. Another grind going on top of this building and a precision landing. Nice. Sport. Okay. First car stun. Let's see what he's going to do. I need to launch off of something and he lands on this lower part of this building. Cool. Chopin's? Okay. Whoa. What was that? I, I, remember, I remember that palm tree launch method from last time. Yes. And a precision landing with a car. Very nice job. Excellent. What, he's going backwards with the plane? I guess that's possible in GTA 5. I just didn't know that was possible in San Andreas as well. He's doing a very good job not hitting anything. Fantastic. Nem. What's he gonna do? Okay, so he's gonna go on that. Ooh, a nose man he holds a bike? Dude, how do you do that? That doesn't make any sense. That's awesome, but then a grind, yet continuing this amazing stunt. Unbelievable. VTX. Okay, what's he gonna do? Ooh, nice landing on this building. I like the camera angles, too. I know that's harder to do in San Andreas, but they're still doing a good job just working that all that stuff out. So, Macy. A precision stunt yet again on this billboard. Kits. A grind on the top of a roof. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not possible in 5, but nice taking advantage of that texture in San Andreas. A grind on the side uh, on the side of a cliff, yeah. Well, the cliffs in GTA 5 are, you know, a bit better textured now, but <laughs> nice job. Ah, okay. I like this, like, washed out looking cinematic. I feel like those look especially good on San Andreas. Ah, oh, he's way off in the distance. There we go. Ooh, is that a wall ride spot? I can't even tell. That's... A... No, what? Okay, it's a grind, I guess. It kind of looked like a wall ride from a distance, but I guess that's a grind. And it was a collab stunt between two different people. Sport. I'm really enjoying this video so far. Nice use of the boat. Is he going to land on something small? And he does a landing on that, and that's probably especially hard in SA just to get the boats out of the water, so... Nice creative use right there. Huh, okay. I like the, how you did use the car to launch. I'm not sure how that physic works, but it ended up looking up pretty good. Huh, okay. 
using the ramp and the tree okay I didn't see that first but the tree as well does that say UK I'm I, I think that's how you say that <laughs> okay Nice building landing, just from a tiny bump off of the side of a parking garage. And I already know what he's doing here. And now someone tried to explain to me how this physic worked out. Someone on Skype trying to explain this to me, but it still doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's such a cool physic. How he could just sort of, with a taxi, like, sort of ride up buildings. I'm sure that's a glitch, but it's in the game, so you just gotta work with whatever in the game. So I'm assuming that part two, okay. Ah, an ATV. I wonder what he's going to do with this. Or this could just be a cinematic. I have no idea. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Very, very creative technical stunt indeed right there. I'm not sure if how the ATV works that you can't fall off, but he like rolling out two separate grinds. Again, someone using the grinding on... And he landed down there. Okay. That must have taken at least 20 tries. Kudos for that. Massive respect. That must have taken a long time. Okay, burn. And where does he land? Oh, and the billboard kind of helps him land on the building. Good job. Sport. Ooh, yeah. Is that going to be like a grind then he gets on the building? <laughs> he like almost falls off right there, but he manages to pull off at the last second. Abs, or the R's, okay. I, I, can I even read that? Okay. So full grind on the top, and taking a 90 degree turn, getting another grind on this other fence right here. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> Ernie, okay. Alright, so you think he's going to land the position, but he ends up getting the grind on the side of it. I'm just amazed by how people are continuing to grind, like, even at such a slow speed. And then these are these absolutely insane tree landings right here. It's like, <laughs> you're landing on nothing. Billy, or B1LLY, I guess. Ooh, this might be the smallest precision I've seen yet in this video. Alibi, okay, another jet stunter. Hey, did he really set all those up right there? One miss. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Tracker. So going on all these. Hmm. So I guess this is like street style, you could say, for like San Andreas, I guess. And getting the little crane slide at the very end. Cool. Okay. So, chiller. Or chiller, whatever. Um. Oh, how do you land on that little tiny side right there? I think you would have f fell off most of the time. Undead X. Another technical grind stun. Man. I love the way grinding looks in San Andreas, too. Whoa! No one could pull that off in GTA 5. That's insane. Burn. I have wall ride, I guess. I guess that's the closest you can get to wall riding in San Andreas. So, PTRVY. Another cool entry into a grind on top of a building. And a cool landing, too. An another taxi method. I mean, wow. I mean, <laughs> what? How is he going so high up? That's crazy. That's, that's unbelievable. Okay, Kiti Cthulhu. These stunts at the end are getting really, really good. Diaz. And what's he grinding on? And he lands on the side of a building. What? That's unheard of. So there's two minutes left in the video. I'm not sure if it's just going to be a title screen or what. Alright, thanks for watching elsewhere. Alright. Hmm. I... Ooh, what's this part? Cool little cinematic. I feel like I recognize that. Like, who is that guy? I don't... Fuck. I, I, I know what that's from, but I just can't name it. You guys ever get that feeling when you know where something's from, but you can't, like, really recognize it? It sucks. 
Stun Spy, Afterlife, Alibi. Um, it has all the names. I'm getting this sort of old movie feel, which I feel fits of San Andreas exceptionally well because it's obviously an old game, so you got this like old movie feel like along with it, and it really completes the experience. I'm just gonna continue watching until the end. I think the credit screen has maybe like one more minute left, so I'm just gonna watch until the very end. Special thanks to some people. All right. No cheat slash mod slash hacks, obviously, to affect GTA physics in any way. Yeah, all right. 200 grams of weed were burnt now <laughs> making this video. Awesome. Hey, I think I know this is why this video is age restricted. Please, please do not flag this video, guys, because this video actually got age restricted on their channel. So, guys, please do not flag this video because I don't want this video to get age restricted because that would suck, okay? Especially since I'd be extremely ironic since I'm 16 and like age restrict means 18 up So I'd be making age restrict video. That'd be funny All right So the first thing I got to say guys is at the beginning of the video I was kind of confused because um It said the video is age restricted and I had absolutely no idea why so before I even talk about the video in general Please do not flag this video because that that will I could get a strike on my channel if you guys do that So please do not do that. I might just like cut out the ending I'm not entirely sure because having that guy like smoking weed that might be a bit too risky on this channel sort of But I just felt like maybe I should include it just because that's like the full video that I was just reacting to so we'll put putting that aside. Let's talk about the video a little bit. Oh and also side note I know I said in the credits that I recognized it for something and then I realized after watching the whole thing It just looks really similar to something else I saw of the guy smoking and stuff But then I'm, I'm probably just gonna assume that that's like one of the stunters in the video that made that little like smoking like credit scene So just forget I said that all right So after doing some thinking I decide the MVP for this video is pro magic and in my opinion the runner-up is Bill and I do have a few reasons for this I'm gonna look through some of their stunts to kind of explain why I thought that they were the best people in this video And the first stunt I have lined up here is that stunt that pro magic did he also did a collab with it with Kruth But I really liked his idea and I'm not really giving him any more credit for this in Kruth Like there's other reasons I chose pro magic over him But I really like the creativity of the stunt where he like took that bump and he did like a wall ride and a grind at the exact same time And he did a clean landing too. I thought that was clearly one of the most creative in this entire video so good job coming up with that so like I said in the video there's also this other really good clip that pro magic hit where he got that grind on the roof and then he dropped like a hundred or two hundred feet and he got another grind on the entire fence without like breaking it or anything and he just got the grind on the entire fence and I, I I remember saying in the video that I especially like that stunt because like I said in the video it's it, that stunt probably took so many tries and you guys got to take into consideration that they don't have like races or anything equivalent to that like like us GTA 5 stunters have so like they have to line up the stunt and try every single time like if they fail they have to go all the way up to that roof somehow and like try the stunt again from scratch so that's what makes some of these GTA San Andreas videos especially impressive because they don't have races or anything. It's, it's all free roam. It's all like real street gangster stuff. Like you get what I'm saying? Also, another stunt that I liked by Pro Magic was he was when he went off that hill, and even though he really didn't have that much speed, somehow he gained just a tiny bit of speed off of that hill, and he managed to get a tree landing. And the tree landing was highly unlikely too, because just because it he landed in the tree, it doesn't necessarily mean it was easy for him to land in the tree. So that probably took him a lot of tries. And when he landed, he looked like he was just like barely attached to the tiniest, tiniest branch. So really a nice job hitting that stunt too. I thoroughly enjoyed that one as well. And about a stunt or two after that, Billy hit the smallest precision this entire video because he went off a ramp and then went off a bump, and he landed on the very smallest part of a billboard, even though it wasn't high up, just because of how small the stunt was, that's what made me think it was especially impressive. Oh, and even though this person wasn't the runner-up for the MVP, I have to say something about this stunt because this was so damn impressive. This is when Kruth did the double taxi wall climb. He did like from one a smaller building and then he got launched super high in the air. And in GTA San Andreas, you pretty much have no control over your car in the air like you do in GTA 5. So that's what made this harder than like a GTA 5 equivalent stunt as well. And then he went and did the exact same thing on another higher building. And he landed on one of the highest buildings in the entire game. So 
Just round of applause for doing that. If he would have had more stunts, I easily could have chosen Kruth for the MVP or runner-up, but I don't know. It's just a really hard decision, but Kruth, even though, like, you're not the MVP or runner-up, that was a sick stunt. Oh, and also the last stunt I want to talk about is that one stunt that was done by Diaz where he did the invisible grind, and he landed past a building. I would have thought that would have been an invisible wall, but apparently not. He somehow got that landing, like, glitched halfway through the texture, and nice finder, I know, I thought that stunt looked pretty good, and yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about the stunts. So I guess now I'm going to talk about the edit and the songs a little bit. So I do like the edit, it kind of had that old school movie feel, especially at the end screen, which I guess I might get into a little bit later, sharing my thoughts about that. And uh, it had sort of had this like sort of colorless feel, but it almost feels like the depth of field was sort of focused on the bike a tiny bit, so I do appreciate that. Maybe that was just a complete coincidence and I'm being an idiot for pointing that out, but that's kind of how I feel about that. And yet it was consistent throughout the entire video. I like how everyone kind of had a different font. Like, if you guys haven't picked up on this already, everybody in the video had their own unique fonts, like, to their own self. So, I do kind of like how they did that. It's not just, like, a speed edit or, huh, let's use a default font and let's try to get that out as quickly as possible to get, like, views and stuff. Like, that obviously wasn't the mindset for this video. They wanted to take their time to make a quality video, which is something that I respect and admire a ton. So, I really like that for the editor. And even though the editor, I wasn't really specific of exactly who the editor was, I do appreciate all the work that he did put on this video because it turned out really good. And for the music, it was the rock songs I'm used to hearing, and even though I generally don't like hearing the same stuff like every single video and stuff like that in terms of genre, I do feel like rock is just so fitting for GTA San Andreas. I feel like rap and rock are the two kinds of music that really fit with SA really well, because rap, especially for BMX, I remember watching some old, like, uh, some old BMX like San Andreas videos and the rap always fits well with it and for the just motorcycle videos just like the rock really fits nicely with the game too and everything so the choices in music they weren't anything extremely special but they definitely were adequate. Alright so overall I'm going to give this video a 98 out of 100 on the 100 point scale because you know even though I gave the last one 100 out of 100 nothing can really beat that last one I mean it was such a masterpiece there's no possible way you guys have could really made it any better in the last one so 98 out of 100 really solid score I think this is the best like GTA San Andreas content I've ever seen and it only has like 630 views too I didn't even mention that this content is so underviewed like when compared to the quality it's crazy and I remember seeing like GTA San Andreas videos that are made in like 2007 that are like really bad but just because the interest was higher then the videos have like 17 million views or something like that so that really sucks how it works out this way but I really do enjoy this content be sure to go check out the Arrow Reapers in the description down below and by the way for the uh, ending title screen I can't say that I condone smoking weed because, you know, I'm 16 and I'm just going to pretend like, oh, I didn't even see that there in that video just to avoid any legal trouble. So, so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. So if you enjoy this video at any point in time, be sure to drop like on the video because it does help a lot. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily GTA 5 content and more. And until next time, this is Kotetsu here. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Kotetsu out.